Hi guys. Hello. John hey. Road and Neil McGuigan. Um, can you just tell us what we were doing today with that fantastic food and wine upstairs? You do it. You do it, Sarah. Well, uh, today was all about um, launching a partnership between um, myself and Neil and uh, the wine and food world that belongs together. And that is a modern uh, look at the way in which we, as consumers or people as consumers, can actually look at food and wine being joined together. Uh, the modern way of doing it is about information. The information technology we know is an exciting world. So, Neil, being very, very clever, has worked out the, the QR code, a little tiny funny box in the back of the wine. There it is. My beautiful assistant will show you to show it all about. And there it is. You scan that the smartphone. It takes you to a website and, and a, a microsite. And you can get all the information you like about the wine, about food, about recipes for me. I've got a collection of 50 and some videos of various recipes. What, what's the name of the actual um, website and the name of the collection? Is it, is it the Neil and John collection? Or? The collection is called the Neil McGuigan and John Tarot Recipe Collection. And the website? The website is www.mcguiganwines.co.uk. And you mentioned upstairs that the recipes cover everything from sort of tapas or picnic to dinner party. Well, yeah. The, the, the thing is the wine, of course, is drunk or consumed or enjoyed at any occasion, whether you be on a picnic, on the beach, around a table, in the winter, in the winter behind a, around a, a fireplace. So the recipes are exactly the same. There are things in there for a beef wellington, uh, all the way through to a muffaletta, which is a, a picnic sandwich you made the day before. There are desserts, there's little tasting bits of pizza, like hummus with spiced lamb, the fish pies, there's all sorts of bits and pieces. Things for vegetarians, things for vegetarians, things for the carnival, things for people to just enjoy and eat. So do you well, think the idea is to get people more into food and wine matching or to get people to think about more of the wines so that they then go and choose to buy? Well, what, what John has done for me is that he's made uh, recipes which are so easy to understand, so uh, accessible, so affordable, and you can go and buy the ingredients anywhere. And he makes it really simple. But then what he does for me is he then puts a nuance into the recipe which can take uh, the, the food, like a, uh, the self-sourcing salt, salt chicken that he made uh, in my backyard a couple of weeks ago, and normally chicken uh, with some sour cream. Yeah, okay, that's white wine, uh, the, the Semillon Blanc or our McGuigan Pinot Grigio. But, but what he did is he put, he put tarragon in there. And what that did is tarragon, tarragon is, a, is a herb, therefore herbaceous wine could go with it. Rosé ticked the box instantly, yeah. but also it was best out of all those three wines with Merlot. It was the fourth wine because he took it into a spectrum which you wouldn't think about, but it, it's engaging. And what we've done is that we have we have given people the opportunity to get into food and then experiment with wine. And the thing that we want people to do is just get into it. Get not wrong. Enjoy what you're doing, and if you like it, if you like drinking, drinking red wine uh, with white or with fish, go for it. Do you think this is the way forward, John? Do you think that um, we just mentioned it upstairs? Do you think that somebody well known like yourself, encouraging people to choose wines and to match with? Do you think this is the way forward with wine? Well, I think in the I think UK, the, I think the thing is that if you love food, you're going to love wine. If you love wine, you're probably going to love food. So there has to be somehow another synergy. But you can't, I believe. You can't be an expert in both fields because there's so much to know in the field of food, so much to know in the field of wine, that you actually need a partnership which works together and thinks similarly about what you're doing. I love the approach of all things to all men. Neil loves the approach of all things to all men. Nothing should be exclusive. And that's why I think the partnership is going to work. Because you're going to eat whatever you like, whatever you like, drink whatever you like, with whatever you like. And that's really important. Do you think this will be an ongoing thing for you? Is it seasonal, the current recipe selection, or is it to cover the whole year? Oh no, the recipe selection is all year, absolutely. Oh no, you know, I'm not going to do something which is crazy like that. Uh, look, we, we hope this goes a really, really long way. This is, this is something we've spent a lot of time, a lot of energy doing. And you know, we hope this works really, really well for us. We, we think it's the tip of the iceberg. We think this will this will evolve into other things. What will we evolve into? Evolve into? I'm not quite sure yet, but it will evolve. Yeah. The excitement about what we're doing, I've never seen before in the wine industry. I think it's yeah. an exciting. Thing. It's a great idea. And fantastic food and wine upstairs. Thank you very much. Thank you, Thank you, Thank you guys. Thank you.